What was the first moment of your life where you thought for sure that going into the film business was going to be what you wanted to do? Hmm. Well, I, um, it was later than most people, I think. I was a, a freshman in college and I was going to community college and I was studying architecture and I took a film history course, a sort of elective, and I really liked it. And then I took a film production course and I liked that too. Um, and then so after the first year, I just decided I think I'll do film instead of architecture. Right, and just from then on out, you realize more and more that's what you wanted to do? Uh, yes and no, actually. It's a, it's a sort of a windy road. What kind of brought you back into the world of film? Well, it, it, it had to do with um, graduating and then starting to work in that field. Um, I was doing volunteer work and then um, you know, paid work in sort of a therapy um, field and I, I just didn't like it and I wasn't very good at it and I felt like I was like you know, 22 years old and trying to help people with their problems and it seemed kind of young to be trying to do that kind of thing so then I really just sort of gravitated back into film just because it's like well I got to do something and I knew I liked that and uh, so I ended up since I had only taken a few film classes doing this kind of hardcore technical training that was free at the time in California. Was, things were more generous at the time. And uh, I hung out for like a year at this program um, with a few other people who just, we did these crazy art stuff. And uh, so at that point, I did feel like I was locked in. Just thinking of where you are today, who would you say is the main person that influenced you to be where you are? Hmm. Well, uh, in regards to my career, I would say there was this filmmaker named Bill Jersey in San Francisco who was, he was kind of a minor legend. He was, he was like 70 at the time. And he gave a talk on the Berkeley campus and I just went to see it. And he was sort of advising people against going into documentary filmmaking and he said you should only do this if it's um, if your heart um, tells you that you can't do any other thing in your life you know and when he said that it's like that's exactly how I feel <laughs> um, like this is the only thing I really want to do and so um, that sort of sort of I felt like gave me permission in my mind to just like pursue it full on yeah, that sounds like a great influence. Yeah. And then I ended, he ended up hiring me at, at his company, too. Oh, nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I fixed some little, there was a technical problem. He was showing film, and, and it wouldn't, didn't have any sound or something. And I just wandered over, and I turned nice. the switch. And so my technical training helped. So what would you say makes you stand out? Like, when your big selling point to anyone who wants to hire you, what's the main number one thing you would tell them? Mm -hmm. uh, I think I make good decisions. Um, with filmmaking, we're talking about career stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Um, with filmmaking, there's a lot of things to consider. Uh, there's practical matters of actually getting what you want, you know, under always limited budgets. Um, there's thinking about the audience. I think as far as like an art form, it's probably the most audience-oriented art forms. Yeah, you're, you're always thinking about how I, can, how I can communicate well, that kind of thing. So um, there's a lot of things to consider, um, and uh, I see sometimes people maybe, in my mind, don't make the best decisions. Um, you know, they'll invest, for instance, a lot into making a beautiful shot. Well, maybe the beautiful shot is actually a distraction. You know, if, if you just want to talk to somebody or something. You know, so. But other times, of course. You know, maybe at the beginning of the film, you want something that's that is really beautiful. Um, so, so those are just a lot of little, like micro decisions, and I feel like I make good ones. Right, that's definitely a good, definitely good quality to sell yourself with. Mm -hmm. I mean, lots of people get like you told me before; they get really invested in a project, but they don't really know how to.
go from there. I was headed up. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm.